Okay, so this is day uh, 18 and uh, the 30-day uh, servo project, our servo motion project we're doing. So uh, yesterday, the two screens that I just pulled up, um, this is working on the HMI system for this. Uh, again, if you're not familiar, if you're catching just, just catching on where we're, we're starting right now, fully emulated system, RS Logics Emulate 5000 chassis is what we're, us <coughs> what we're using. The ACD file for the uh, state machine and the coordinated motion and all the axes have been, been done already. Uh, we still have a little bit of work to do there, but the machine is running. Uh, so that's a good thing. Um, now we're at the point where we've been building the HMI. We built the main screen, the server status screen, the header screen, and we're going to add in um, a footer screen. Now, we'll call this footer screen uh, main menu, but we're going to come back and build it this time. What we're going to do real quick to kind of break up the monotony, though, uh, I want to build the client and show you how it works so far. And what I want to do that is to show you that this system is the way it's called up on the macro. The way it's called up right here. All this is fully functioning. And... So this is a this is a good test, right? Uh, we haven't done this yet. Uh, and not only that, I want to show you how to build a client, right? So if you launch a client, um, what you want to do is hit launch client, and you want to go to new, right? So in the new one, new client, we want to name this uh, again. This is the uh, servo motion. 30, 30 day project. I don't know why I always do that, but I always type that in right. Um, so this is the project client. I always put client on there just so that's just me. I just used to, I mean, you don't have to, you can name it whatever you want to. So anyway, so I give you got to give it a name. Make sure your folder's right. Generally speaking, it's going to pop up in the same location. It always does. This is the default by Rockwell. Hit next. You want to make sure you pick the right system you're using. Uh, in our case, we are using a network distributed. However, if you were using a network station, you would choose network station. Local station, you would do the same. We are using a network distributed. Okay, so at that point, we need to come down and select the server that we currently want to make the client attached to. Uh, we have a good bit of stuff that we have uh, that we've made in the past uh, for the videos and stuff. In our case this is going to be the state controlled um, motion app and, and just make sure you go ahead and choose the correct application that you want to make you want to attach your client to. Don't change anything else on that. So in the area now this is where you want to go and make sure you choose the right thing. Now let me let me show you something real quick. If I choose this right here, it's not going to find anything. The reason is because the only thing I have under this data server, the only thing I have under this file, is because is the RS Links Enterprise. The actual um, HMI server is under the the application. So if I check that, then it goes down and puts the the one bracket down from the uh, file structure. Initial display, I'm not doing anything because I'm calling that off of my, my macro, right? My start macro. Um, client keys, we are going to use, put in client keys and we are going to choose our startup macro. This is where we tie in what we did down here, right? This is where we tie that stuff in. So the macro, we're going to choose to use that there. The clients, we're going to choose to use the client keys that we, we made. So it should not give you any or any options other than what you've already made before. At this point, we want to go ahead and click Next. We want to uncheck the title bar, uncheck Diagnostics, unless you want to use Diagnostics. Um, and matter of fact, I think I will. I think I will use Diagnostics. So I can tell all that all Diagnostics is is down here. You know, your stuff is happening down here. Um, so you, you kind of want to see that while you're testing the system. But if you're making a client for a, a, fully, a system that's fully running 
and it's just going to be operators or something running it, you don't want to check this box. I'm going to do that just for troubleshooting purposes. Um, then I want to maximize the screen. So I want to give the full screen of the computer I'm currently using. I click Next. Enable Auto Logout. No, I have uh, I'm to, I can put VBA code in there for that if I need to. You can use that feature if you want. You know, if you wanted to auto log out, I personally I don't. I use a different method. Uh, so at this point, you want to save and launch the client. So if you did your security right, which we shown, we showed our security in the earlier videos. Um, it's going to log in right now. Everything should be should go as accordingly. It should start assembling the client. And this is where your macros come in place, right? So I want you to watch when it first cranks up or when it first opens, you're going to see the screens pop in and you're going to see the pause. You're going to see the everything working. So right now in the very bottom of the screen, you can see the pause, the client keys and everything of that nature pop in. Um, this does have an error right now. Uh, what I need to do is, is fix that tag. But what I wanted to show you is the, the, the screens that we made. Um, this history screen shows you exactly what you can come up here and, and show and, and clear the history. Um, of course, the server, uh, the alarms and event server is not tracking anything right now. Uh, the login pops in a login if I wanted to log in. So if I want to log in. then it will log in. So uh, it does take a second because it, it operates off VBA code. So just be patient. Okay, so now it's logged in as an as a, uh, advanced engineer. If I want to log out, I just simply click, click that and log out. This is why I don't use the auto logout plus the fact that I can write VBA code in the background to do that. Um, so with that said, you know, that's, that's the reason for that. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and fix this button. So let's go ahead, use our client keys, right? So control, if you remember, we made the client keys, control shift Q. It automatically shuts down the application. We want to go in our main header screen and fix this. So apparently we have the wrong tag in here. We actually have the wrong. Uh, <clears throat> we have the wrong. We have the wrong shortcut. Really, what it is. So we have to look at the name of our. Uh, actually, we haven't even built the shortcut. So that's something that we should do. Uh, so let's go back and build our shortcut. Let's go to HMI. So let's go to data server. Let's go to RS Links Enterprise Communication Setup. Uh, YouTube is what we called it. Um, again, we want to go ahead and this is an emulated system, so we're going to pick our pick what we have, right? So YouTube is our our shortcut that we made. The chassis is like so. If let's look in our ACD file. It is in the second chassis, our second slot in the chassis. So we want to go in the second slot of that chassis. Um, so it looks like we did make the shortcut. We verify, click OK. So come back in here and our shortcut path should be YouTube. Okay, so let's see if that works. Okay, so close that out, save it, and start our client again. Um, it should pop up. Just hit OK. We'll open it up. <clears throat> and again, we're still going to make the bottom header, um, or the bottom footer, I should say. I'm sorry. So we're going to make that, but like I said, I just kind of want to break the monotony up and show some activity. Being that we've made screens for the past couple days, I wanted to show the stuff actually coming together a little bit more. So that, you know, kind of break up everybody's attention and stuff. Um, you know, we're all 
kind of creatures I have that want to see some activity when stuff is happening. So the screen's pulled up, everything works. Um, again, it logged in the operator. Uh, you can see our system is working right. So our tag, we fixed our tag, our broken tag up here. So the machine's in the stopped and ready state. Um, just so let's let's go in and make the system work. So let's just start it real quick <clears throat> to see if to see if everything is working. Okay, so machine is is running. We need to change the uh, the text on that. No big deal. We'll change the text on that. Come back, change the text. Uh, header. Okay, so. <clears throat> Make this the black old, and then again. So we want to change uh, what we have. All right, so good. Save that. All right, so now let's go back and make the the next screen, which is going to be a new screen. New screen. We want to get our screen properties in, like we always do, right? So change. I'm going to change this to uh, 1280 and then by 90 again because we want this is just going to be a small little icon on the bottom. I'm going to change this to zero because the X is going to be zero. I want to start on the left hand side of the screen. The position, <clears throat> we want to put this at like uh, roughly about there. Let's, on the Y, that's the bottom position. We'll see what that looks like. The um, that color we'll keep is that. Uh, again, we don't want to use any of this stuff. So at this point, we will go ahead and hit apply. Come back, and that will be our screen. So we'll close the screen, and we'll name it uh, Z uh, Main. Let's see, Z Main menu uh, Z main menu and I say that uh, let's see uh, <clears throat> I say that because the main menu is something that we're going to uh, it, it pops in the bottom of the screen so it's something that we're going to add our screens to or add uh, navigation to so let's go down into our macro and let's call this screen right So we want to basically, you know, I'm a person that likes to co like copy and paste a lot. So come down, paste that in. We'll call this uh, main menu. And then we want to be display bottom. So, all right, so save this and let's start our application again. Start our client, see what happens. See if we did the right thing. Never can tell. I'm doing this stuff live, so I mean, you know, I'm not, not there's no secret tricks here. <laughs> if I mess up, you're going to see it. I guess that's good though. You know, build, you know, we all get to kind of see how it's fixed, right? Okay. Yep. Okay, so now we have a header, we have a footer, we have our screen. Um, I don't like the order. Mm, so. Now look at that. Let's look at that. So pulls up this, pulls up this, pulls up this. Um, maybe we should do. Maybe we should do that first.
So anyway, I doubt this will help anything, but it's worth a shot, right? So again, client keys, uh, control shift Q, and let's start it one more time, and then we're going to wrap this video up. I think we're right at our mark. Um, I just wanted to show, and I'll come back and I'll make the I'll make the screen. So it's not really much to it. I just want to show that it, you know, you know what, this, what the properties are and everything. So when you're making it, you can kind of throw it in there and have the system fully done. So the screen should pop up in a different manner now. They, it probably is not going to fix that header bar issue right here. So I'm not really concerned with that right now. Um, this little screen stuff right here but I will fix that um, so no worries so anyway we're at the 16 minute mark um, got everything fully functional so far that we wanted to um, and that is it you know that's uh, basically so now we want to basically go in and start making a couple screens right the drivetrain you know just to show a couple readouts something very simple start stop just some um some stuff of that nature and then we'll get back to the uh, fine tuning of the you know, like fault handling and stuff so that we can have some faults in our up here in our hms system our alarms and events we'll have an alarms events down here we'll do a, like another couple buttons down here to show like a, a navigation of where we're going um just to kind of wrap it, you know, kind of get things more, you know, sewed up and, and get it done. May actually get this thing done before the 30 days. And what we can do at that point is go back through it and kind of give a more detailed description. Uh, detailed overview, you know. So uh, hopefully that happens. But again, I'm past the 15 minute mark, so I'm going to stop rambling. And uh, appreciate your time and appreciate your uh, support. And we'll, we'll come out with uh, the next video. and start making some other screens. All right, thank you.